Then they're for noobs. Okay, so what you will need to start the design of your car is a piece of graph paper. And if you like to, I mean, you can use the graph paper to just rough out your design. Uh, you need at least a side view, a top view, and a front view. And then you could also have a back view if you really want it. Um, and this is kind of what you're looking for, this type of view here. And what I've done, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to use this design, which I got off of the blueprints.com, as kind of a guide to design my car. So I'll have the basic size of the car, but any additions and changes to the car I'll make in my, um, on my graph sheet. So I'm just going to put this underneath the graph sheet and hook it onto this clipboard here. And this way I'm going to trace the basic uh, size of the car here and I'll be able to rough it out like this. Now you probably can't see the car underneath from this view, but I can see it at least good enough to start uh, tracing it. So basically I'm just going to go over it in pencil. And just, this is just the very basic outline of the car because my final outline is going to be what I want to create myself. So something like that. Same thing with top view. Just getting the very basic outline of the car. Doesn't have to be anything you know great right now. You just want the uh, want to rough it out. This front one's really hard for me to see. Something like that. So let me go ahead and add some wheels. And once you got your very, very basic outline of a car, then you can go and start adding the details that you want in your car to be different. For example, in my car, what I want to do, as I think about it, I want to have the back kind of come down at a curve, and then the back of my car is actually going to be quite a bit larger here. maybe actually even come down at a slope like so and then come in like this and notice I'm doing a little bit more uh, heavy pencil marks here so I'll know what my, de my design is like and the front I mean the, um, the bottom side here is just coming down like so it's coming up fenders it's coming down like this, also at kind of a curved slope. And down, I'm going to have a bumper inset there. Something like that. I'm going to bring this down here. Just kind of come in like that. And then to get to the rest of your views, what you need to do is start paying attention to where uh, your lengths are on your car. For example, this front, you can see the grid line comes up to the front here, so I know that is the very front. Same thing for the back, I'm using this grid line. And then you got to look at where the major changes in your car is. For example, uh, just like in the 3D world, we're looking at uh, the side to top view. You know, here are the fenders on these lines, and you want them, of course, to be the same, usually the same length here. And then um, your the end of your hood and the beginning of your windshield starts here, so you know you're going to have a line there. Uh, the very top point of your hood starts here, so we're going to have a line here. And then basically I want my, the back of my car to kind of slope down like that so you won't really see a line definition. But on the very edge where the, the rear window is, say if the, the rear window starts here and ends here, you'll know that you need a rear window right here in this area. 
So you're basically just transferring over all these changes along the side view onto your top view as if you were looking down on the card so you'll see where they, they fall. The other thing that we need to do on the top car is anything that we wouldn't see on the side, the top view, um, we need to note that. So I know that the wheel wells are going to be like right here. I'm, I'm doing this one very quickly. I'm going to do another one that's a little bit more accurate for when I start to model the car. But just to show you how this, how I'm going about doing this. So we know the wheel wells are here. What I want to do on mine is I actually want to bring bevel these out for whatever reason, just an idea. And I'm going to bring this one out here. And then the uh, inside of the car, I'm actually going to go inward a little bit like this. Almost like, I guess, sort of like maybe a Corvette does that. I'm not sure. But, of course, if it does it over on this side. It's going to do it over on this side. So you want to duplicate the same thing over here. And I'm not trying to be very accurate right now. I'm just trying to uh, get this put down. But, of course, you want to make sure, you know, your, your curves here are done the same way as the ones over here. And, of course, it's important to know what your center point is. So on this car, I think this is probably, I'm not going to count the squares, but just count, you know, on each side and to get your center point. Make sure that, you know, you know what the center is. And then on the hood, I'm just going to, instead of have it square off, I'm going to have it curve in like this. Kind of the same in the back. I'm going to curve uh, down something like this. Inward like that. And not really necessary to define where the hood's at here. You can if you want, but I think I'll just define that in the 3D. And go to do it in Blender. And then once you have your basic outline like this, uh, then you need to use both of these and transfer them over to your front. So, you know, for example, you know that on the front view, uh, you might have kind of a bevel out on your wheel wells that I'm doing here, um, you'll see that this is the top of the hood. So really the top of the hood is somewhere in here. And basically you're still just rough sketching this out. So if you need to make any erase, you know, erasures or anything like that, you can do that. Uh, top of the hood is actually lower than what I have it here. So it's right, right in there. And then we can see the bumper is coming along in this area right here. Get an idea where that's at. And maybe even kind of know where the headlights are going to be. And this one curves in so we don't really see the uh, this curve here, but we will see like maybe... Um, where the, the hood opens. So we can imagine it's kind of like right in here. And the tires, I actually want, to, want them to be wider than what they are on this reference picture that I have. This reference picture, by the way, is, um, I think I've got like a 72 Dodge Challenger. I don't remember. But just something that, you know, I thought was a good overall view of a car. It's very, you know, it's very 1970-ish. It's got the nice hard corners and all that. Uh, very nice looking car, but I'm making my car more up to date, um, changing it quite a bit. It's definitely not going to be anything like this car here um, when I'm done, but it gives me a good starting point as far as getting the dimensions right and all that stuff. And then also thinking about looking down, I'm, you know, your hood's actually going to be coming in at an angle, and we have that bevel on the uh, wheel well, which isn't shown very well here because I don't know exactly what it, I'm going to do with it yet, but at least I'll have an idea that that's, you know, something I'm going to do. So your reference picture as you create this, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be good enough to give you a starting point to create your rough in on your 3D. And then in the 3D world in Blender, what we're going to do is we're actually going to 
be defining your car as we go along even further. So once you have your rough draft of, of what you, you know, how you want your car designed, then take a pen, or I, in this case I have a Sharpie, and just go over your outline. Okay, so I did that very quickly, and of course, you want to take more time with your design and make sure that, you know, you get it as nice and as, as close to what you want the design to actually be as you can. But once you're happy with the design and once you look at it and you, you know, see that everything looks like it's matching up as far as your top view, your side view, and your front view, and of course your rear view if you have one, you can go ahead and you, if you have like a scanner printer, go ahead and scan it and get it into electronic format. Or you could take a picture of it with your phone or whatever you need to do in order to get it into electronic format. So we're going to take this design here. Well, not this one. I'm going to do a, a little bit better one or different one. Take a little bit more time on it and do it. And bring it into electronic format. And we'll use this as the background reference images in order to start designing our vehicle. So I'll see you in the next video.